Yo, what up guys, Jamie from Jamie's Detailing. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about dilution ratios. What are dilution ratios? How to you know calculate out the right number of ounces or milliliters for whatever bottle you guys are trying to fill. And how to dilute chemicals in bulk in a super quick and easy way that I really haven't seen anybody show um, on YouTube. So I definitely wanna go over that at the end of this video. But first off guys, what are dilution? ratios you can either buy chemicals at the store in a ready-to-use fashion so they're you know typically in a spray bottle like those three over there um, on the far side of the screen but you're either gonna buy chemicals in a ready-to-use bottle typically a spray bottle they're already ready to use or you're gonna buy chemicals um, that are concentrated that you actually need to dilute down in order to get the proper um, strength of the chemical, potentially damaging different surfaces. And when you guys see dilution ratios, you'll typically see something like four to one, three to one, 256 to one, 128 to one. You guys are gonna see dilution ratios all over the board depending on what chemical you're working with. Both numbers in the ratio are the number of parts. So the first number is typically how much water you guys need to put in. And the second number is how much product you guys need to put in. So if we were to do a live example of this with, let's just use one of the most, um, one of those chemicals that makes people nervous just in general when they first get into detailing, which is acid. Let's go ahead and mix up some acid real quick. And let me get, show you guys exactly how I do, would do this in like a real life, not a real life situation, but just an example. So for this quick little visual example for you guys, here I have a total of one, two, three, four, five cups here. So we have five plastic cups, all with equal or the exact same volume. And um, this right here is, would total up to be one, two, three, four, five parts, right? So I have a chemical over here that's um, just a wire wheel cleaner from Superior Products, and it needs to be mixed four to one. Now, four to one, we had the four, first number is four parts water, and our second number is one, so we have one part product. So that's a total of five, that's a total of five separate parts. So right here, this represents the five total parts that we need in order to create this mixture. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our acid, and we're gonna, just fill up one of these containers. It doesn't even matter right now how much we fill up this container. However much of the first container we fill up, we need equal parts water, but we need four of those as compared to just one part of our product. So let's go ahead and jump over here. So this is our acid or our wire wheel cleaner. I'm gonna go ahead and pour out just any amount into this first cup of the wire wheel cleaner. And this is gonna represent that one part This is gonna represent that one part of product. So in that four to one ratio, this is that one. So that's the wire wheel cleaner right there. Now this right here, guys, this is just some steamed, distilled uh, water just from my local grocery store. I always recommend for you guys to use distilled water over anything else when you guys are mixing up your products. I don't use tap water. I always use pure, distilled, non-mineral added water. This is the best stuff to be using. You can just pick it up at your local grocery store, Walgreens, um, wherever you guys pick up distilled water. I did notice my local uh, hardware store does not have uh, water like this. I'm gonna take my first of the four parts. I'm gonna just put it right here next to my acid. And I know I need an equal part water. So we're just gonna eyeball this. So there's one part water. There is two parts water. Got a little extra in that one, I think. Here is three parts water. And here is our fourth part 
of water spilling a little bit. All right, so now this right here represents our four to one ratio. We have one, two, three, four parts water, and then we have one part product. So our four to one ratio. So now I can go ahead and grab any bigger container that I have. What do I have available? All right, guys, so now we have our four parts water, one, two, three, four parts water, and our one part of actual product. Now we actually need to mix all of these together in order to make that four to one mix. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our, we're gonna go ahead and add in our water first. Um, one big reason you guys want to add in the water first is because it just creates less bubbles and stuff like that, depending on what uh, chemical you guys are mixing at that time. So we're just going to go ahead and go with our water first. So there's one, two, three, four parts water right there. And now we have our one part acid. So now we have a ready to use product from our actual concentrate that we have back here. So as you guys can see, it's gonna be one, this stuff like these bottles and stuff like this are like 20 bucks a gallon. So it's way more cost efficient and economical as a business for you guys to be buying gallons and five gallons, like what you see back way back down there in the corner. It's way more economical to buy these in gallons and stuff like that versus buying 16 ounce ready to use bottles. One just shipping alone would add up on stuff like that. And um, you're also paying a premium for those ready to use pr products versus the concentrate uh, equivalent of the concentrate. So, so now that we have our actual ready to use product, we can actually divvy this up into an actual dilution bottle. All right, guys, so here I have my dilution bottle and I have a easy pour funnel on top. Um, I get these dilution bottles on Amazon. These are actually the Chemical Guys dilution bottles, which I really like them. If you're trying to use them to like mix chemicals straight into the bottle, they're nice because they have the actual dilution ratios right here on the side. But I typically tend to mix my chemicals in bulk, which I'm about to show you guys here in just a minute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Top off this acid real quick with the ready to use product that we uh, just made up. Now you guys can see we already have some acid in here ready to go, but I'm just gonna go ahead and top off the bottle that stays in my vehicle. So we're just gonna go ahead and add this in. And you guys can see that when I use these easy pour funnels, let me turn this bottle to the side for you. You guys can see as I'm using this easy pour funnel, it's actually creating a good amount of bubbles in here. So when I show you guys in a minute how to uh, mix chemicals in bulk, I'm gonna show you one way to actually not get all those bubbles um, in your guys' uh, in your guys' dilution bottle when you're filling it up. But I still like these easy pour funnels just because they screw onto the bottle itself and they're just quick and easy to use. Anyways, that is our acid wheel cleaner. I'm gonna set this funnel off to the side so that I can go ahead and rinse it out. That way I'm not cross contaminating the next thing that I use this to pour. Um, so let me set this out to the side. So now we have our acid topped off and ready to go. And we're ready for the next vehicle. Let me go put this back. So well, that's just a quick visual representation of how um, to kind of think about that, you know, four to one ratio or four parts water to one part product. Um, you really just, all you're doing is you need equal parts. So, so what a lot of people will do with these dilution bottles is they will actually pour in their chemical first. So let's say you had a four to one dilution ratio. 
for whatever reason, these chemical guide bottles do not have a four to one ratio. So typically I'll mark it. But again, I don't typically mix them directly in the bottle. But if we were doing a four to one ratio, it would be somewhere around here. We would need one part of our chemical. So we would first fill up our chemical. Then we would fill the rest of the bottle up with our water. So some of them will be actually marked with the uh, dilution ratio right here on the side. And some bottles are gonna be marked with the actual ounces or milliliters on the side of the bottle. So you guys are gonna have to actually calculate out what that four to one ratio would be. So if I have this bottle right here and it has a total of 30 ounces in order to, you know, fill this thing up, then we know that doing our quick, some quick math, right? We have four parts water, one part product. That's a total of five parts. So we need to divide 30 by five, which gives us six. So that means we would need to fill approximately six ounces of product. And then the rest of this would get filled up with water if we're doing that four to one ratio. So that's typically how people actually go about filling their dilution bottles. They'll fill up the chemical and then they'll fill it up the rest of the way with water and um i'll show you guys how to actually fill the bottles in a second but there is a quick and nice little trick to filling these things up without getting any bubbles in them um, especially if you're putting the product in first a lot of people will put the product in last so that they get less bubbles because they they're filling up the majority of the bottle with the water first so just some quick little tips right there but um, i'm going to show you guys how i actually mix chemicals in bulk um, and it's super quick super easy and i think you guys will get a decent amount from that now that you guys understand the basics of dilution ratios you also understand how to divide the total volume of a container by the total number of parts in order to get how many ounces of product versus how many ounces of uh, water you guys need to add in order to get that total mixture but let me show you guys my actual secret on how i dilute my chemicals in bulk super quick and efficiently and um, it's just the fastest way I know how and for me as a smaller uh, smaller time detailer or somebody that doesn't have a huge business with you know a huge garage where I need you know five gallons of chemical to be mixed at a time this way works the best for me so let me show you guys how to get that done let me just grab a couple things real quick all right guys so the first thing you guys are going to need in order to dilute chemicals in bulk and what i think is the most efficient way possible is you guys are going to need a gallon or whatever size jug you guys want of distilled water now i buy these directly from the grocery store this is you know i just took the top off of it but uh I buy these directly from the grocery store and I undo the top just like that. Then you guys are gonna wanna grab any kind of measuring container. For today, I'm gonna be mixing up some waterless wash. I just need some more waterless wash in the rig. So I'm just gonna show you guys real quick how I mix that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this little measuring container right here. This is plenty for what I need to measure out. And if you guys want this right here, this is my dilution ratio a uh, little cheat sheet book whatever it has every single chemical that i use and all the standard dilution ratios that i use them at some of these dilution ratios are off off label dilution ratios that i found either online on reddit or in other youtube videos so i usually i've found any, anything that i have in this book i've tried and i've liked so definitely check this out all of these are either stuff that uh, are recommended by the manufacturer as far as dilution ratios or some off uh, label uses for some of these uh, different products. So for today, I think I'm gonna mix up some N914 rinseless wash as a waterless wash. So if I wanna use it as a waterless wash, I need to mix it 128 to one. Now this literally works out perfectly because in a gallon there's 128 ounces. So putting my binder to the side, we're gonna go ahead and measure out one ounce of water, which is the same amount of product that we need. But let me show you guys how this works. We're gonna go ahead and pour out one ounce so over here, we got one ounce of water. 
I went a little over, but that's okay. So now we know that we just took one ounce of water out of this gallon. So remember where it was when we started because that's a total approximately one gallon of product. So again, measure out that one ounce and now we just took out how much actual product we need to put back into this gallon. So instead of measuring out multiple the water and the chemical now all i need to do is measure out the is pour the chemical back into the gallon it's super easy it's almost so easy it's hard to explain but anyways i'm just gonna pour the one ounce of water into my extra little steamed water or uh, distilled water container over here put the lid back on that put that off to the side for the next chemical um that i want to mix directly into the bottle and now i i have uh, my one gallon right here now guys, I'm gonna take my rinseless wash solution and I'm going to pour in to where that line was before. And just like that guys, I have one gallon of waterless wash so if you guys want my dilution ratio little cheat sheet that has a whole bunch of different pages you can flip through of all the different chemicals that i use feel free to download that on my website at jamiesdetailing.com slash resources the link is right here on the screen for you guys but this is how I do my bulk chemicals. So now I have one gallon of rinseless wash. Rinseless wash, I actually do the exact same thing, but I do it in a five gallon format. You guys can see this is my five gallon filler for my rinseless wash. And uh, again, you guys can do this. This is a huge trick that I picked up from other detailers, but basically I just cut off a piece of air hose and I use that air hose now to fill my bottles, but the bottles fill from the bottom because this straw reaches all the way down to the bottom. And that way I get zero bubbles when I'm filling up my bottle. You can do the exact same thing by actually just putting this hose onto the end of a, uh, onto the end of a funnel. So I'll just demonstrate this real quick. You guys can toss that air hose or whatever kind of hose you guys buy or have access to. You can toss that onto the funnel and then stick the, you know, it's obviously already stuck to here. It's pretty well stuck on there. But anyways, this is my little hack. Um, I'll go more into detail on this exact little hack, but this is my five gallons of waterless wash. I just pour in a couple ounces of my McKee's N914 and I literally got rinseless a waterless wash for days so I can just fill up out of here normally but uh, for the example I just wanted to show it to you guys in this uh, single gallon and this is just a super easy way to fill up gallons versus filling up 16 ounces or 32 ounces at a time anyways guys that is where i'm gonna leave you guys for today's video i hope that you guys got what you needed as far as learning these dilution ratios and i hope that they're making a little bit more sense and i hope that you guys got a little bit of something from how i actually dilute my chemicals in bulk in order to save time so i'm not just filling up little 16 ounce bottles all the time but let me know what you guys uh, thought of this overall video. Let me know if you guys have any other further questions on dilution ratios in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.